Hey, this is Kenneth. I'm going to try and give you a live demo of my carbonization chamber. So, to, to review, we've got 3 inch Schedule 40 PVC. This is rated for about 260 PSI. We've got just one slip end cap on the back here that I then cemented on. Up here, we've got a slip to threaded fitting. And so this got cemented onto here. And then I got a threaded end cap. Because this is all, all Schedule 40, all 3 inch. And in the top of it, I drilled three holes and threaded them, or tapped them for one of them for eighth inch national pipe thread and two of them for a quarter inch national pipe thread. And I then have a needle valve, a pressure, uh, pressure relief valve, and a 100 PSI pressure gauge on here. So now I'm going to take about 50 grams of dry ice. This is just one 50 gram chunk of dry ice. You can get this at uh, your local grocery store for about $1.50 a pound. And I'm going to take half of a 64 ounce container of apple juice, put it in the chamber, and then I'll show you, I'll try and show you kind of what it looks like as it runs. Um, you can fit, is this is a 16 inch piece of three inch PVC. Um, you can fit about two liters in here, so you can get a whole 64 uh, ounce bottle in here, but the problem is that leaves very little headroom at the top. And I kind of like to have about half of the chamber just being empty, because that gives you a little bit more buffer room as the dry ice sublimates and generates the high pressure CO2. So we're first going to take about half of this bottle and pour it in. It's a little short, but um, it usually it, it, it kind of it's one of those things that. It doesn't quite carbonate it hard enough that you can let it sit for very long, so I usually like to do it in kind of three or four small batches, because even with several people over, you don't tend to be able to drink 64 ounces of apple juice all at once. So, piece of dry ice, this just goes straight in, and it starts bubbling. So now, the reason that we put the needle valve on here was because even with it being three inch pipe thread, it's really hard to get this on while it's under pressure. Um, I have a little bit of, there's a real thick layer of nylon tape on here. Is uh, National Pipe Thread isn't really designed to be taken on and off several times a day like this. Um, so I have a fairly thick uh, layer of nylon, pipe, uh, of, uh, nylon tape on there. So we're going to loosen the heel valve, screw it on. Um, ideally, you'll want to have either a strap wrench or a second person um, because you can usually get it on pretty well by yourself. But once you put the pipe thread under pressure, it becomes very difficult to try and get it off by yourself. So kind of, I got it about tightened down about as hard as I can. And so now what we do is we close the needle valve, and we'll see the pressure start to rise. Now you can see right there how it just took off like that. That's the part that um, I can't quite explain. My theory is that the dry ice ices up and then it breaks. I mean, you can see that it, it, it very much is going in steps. So we're getting pretty close to the set point on the valve. So in a second, that valve should blow, should open on the left, and we should drop about half of the pressure. I originally calibrated it for 80 psi, so that's we're at 70, so it'd be 10 more. So it's opened a little bit. It may not actually blow. There it was. So usually it blows, I mean usually it doesn't sit there in that middle state uh, for quite as long, but this apple juice got a little cold as I was setting up the shot. 
Um, you, you certainly do want to do this with warm apple juice uh, because if because you're you're trying to melt the dry ice, and so if you if you do it with cold apple juice like I did, you can it, it doesn't quite sublimate it as fast. But as you saw, it, it very very distinctively triggered at 80 and then dropped it down to about 35 or 40. Um, depending on which spring you have and how much you pre-tension it, you can get various levels of hysteresis on it. Um, with 50 to 75 grams of dry ice like I did, you can usually get about two or three of those pops before it, the chamber will finally just stabilize at one point. So normally, um, it's real at this point. You can't. You can never quite get it off by yourself. With two people, one person holding it, the other person grabbing it with both hands around the nut, I can usually get it off. But since I'm here by myself, I found a pair of four-inch channel locks, which is almost as good as a friend. Um, so what you want to do at this point is open the needle valve, which vents all the rest of the pressure. Then you'll twist it off, and then you'll have carbonated apple juice, or grape juice, or any juice, or water, or fruit slices, I mean anything you want at this point is now carbonates. Because National Pipe Thread is tapered, once you kind of get that first half twist um, when you're trying to get it off, the rest of it's real easy. Is What it is is National Pipe Thread actually has about a one and a half degree taper on it, which is why it screws on very easily up until one point, and then only like a quarter or half a turn beyond when you really feel it first engage, gets it very tight. Uh, you do want to be careful because there will sometimes be one large chunk of ice floating in here that may or may not have a little bit of dry ice in the middle of it. Um, I made the mistake of, hey look, nice crunchy piece of ice. Um, bit down on it, not so comfortable. So this isn't the best batch I've had. Is it? it you, you can see it's coming out as just a real light carbonization. Here, let's, let's give you a, a better shot of it. So you can see it, it has a real subtle carbonization to it. Is it's it's not quite what Americans are used to now because we experience such severely overcarbonated soda in the two liter plastic bottles. Um, but I mean, it's a nice effect and it, it's kind of one of those fun things to be able to pull out at parties. Um, it's gotta be the right type of parties, obviously. Um, luckily my parties tend to have a lot of engineers or a few engineers, really. Um, I can never get a lot of people together. But the times I have a few engineers together, we have a good time doing it, so. This has been Kenneth, showing you how to hopefully safely carbonate anything you want with just a chunk of dry ice, some PVC, and a not so strong will to live. So please don't kill yourself, be careful, and have a good time.